Welcome to Motorbike Explorer. The what? The idea is to take myself, some camping gear, cameras, and my motorcycle on a very long road trip to explore as many countries my wallet and my patience will allow me to. I also plan on sharing this experience with you in a meaningful and entertaining way. I'm not sure what to expect. I have a vague idea of what my route will be, but I'm sure it will be constantly evolving. There is an organization called UNESCO, which stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. They have compiled a list called the World Heritage that considers any kind of natural or cultural site around the world which has proven to contain a significant amount of value to humanity. UNESCO seeks to preserve these sites by raising awareness, education, training, fundraising, and most important, to persuade governments to participate in the goal of preserving these sites. I am most interested in the cultural sites as they tell a more meaningful story to me with respect to that country's societal evolution. The why. Because I want to. I have been dreaming about it for a very long time now. My eagerness to travel has grown along with my age. Now I want to explore different countries, different cultures, cuisines, and to visit the UNESCO World Heritage Sites before my time is up. In my 20s, I realized that I would rather spend my money on experiences rather than material items. When you're on a motorcycle, there's no better way to travel and sightsee. Unlike a car, you are exposed. You see more. You can smell everything in your surroundings, and you feel all the minute temperature differences. There's no radio, and you're just left with your thoughts and the road. The how. I bought this second-hand motorcycle and have equipped it with some accessories for this trip. I've added luggage, lights, heated grips, a windscreen, and charging outlets for my electronics. I've renewed my passport. I've researched countless hours on the camping gear that would be lightweight, provide comfort in the cold and wet, and is in the middle to lower end in terms of price. I am not sure how far my wallet will take me, but if I have any hopes of traveling long distances, my best chances of saving money is to provide my own accommodations by tent camping as much as possible. The United States has a national forest system that allows for what they call dispersed camping, which basically means finding a spot in the forest which is secluded from common recreational areas and setting up a legal and free campsite. There can be some restrictions, like the number of nights allowed, the distance from access roads and hiking trails, and whether or not you're allowed to make a campfire. 
Once I leave the United States, I have read that finding a secluded place to set up a tent gets easier and easier. I'm really looking forward to getting on the road. I want to take my time and focus a lot on filming what I see so that I can take you along for the ride. After 41 days of intense preparation, the bike is finally ready. I fabricated some mounting plates for the 2 inch round LED auxiliary lights. Waterproof aluminum lockable panniers were installed. Overflow items are stored in dry bags and strapped to the cargo rack. I needed a way to charge my electronics and monitor battery voltage, so I fabricated and wired in the marine grade charging outlets and voltmeter. All of the wired in accessories are fused and can be electrically disconnected through the use of a hidden key when the bike is unattended. Vault meter and light switches have been waterproofed. I used steel braided cables when making tethers. I can now secure items on the bike with luggage locks. Finding a balance of being prepared for the worst and trying to keep weight at a minimum was a constant struggle. Coming from a background in maintenance, and not wanting to be stranded in the middle of nowhere, I spent some time piecing together some spare parts and tools. I've also packed my bulky laptop for editing videos, and the rest of the items consists of clothes and camping gear. A translucent plastic 4-gallon gas tank was favored over the original 2.6-gallon steel tank. I'm not sure how much the bike weighs with all of its gear packed and fully fueled, but I can tell you it is definitely heavy. Last weekend, I test rode my bike on a short 85 mile ride with my uncle. It was a cold 43 degrees Fahrenheit with overcast skies. At an average speed of 40 miles an hour, the wind chill was 27 degrees. The motorcycle was half packed so that I can slowly be introduced to the amount of weight I'll be lugging along on this trip. The closest UNESCO World Heritage cultural site to me is the Statue of Liberty, located in the harbor of New York City. I have ridden through downtown Newark, New Jersey, and will access the statue from Liberty State Park.
tickets for the statue can be purchased at Liberty State Park and includes a short ferry ride over to Ellis Island and then to the statue. Services are also offered from New York City. Liberty, the state of being free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behavior, or political views. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the United States from France in 1886 to celebrate American independence and has welcomed millions of immigrants ever since. The copper statue stands 305 feet from ground to torch. The female figure represents Libertas, the goddess of freedom. In one hand, she holds a torch, representing progress, and in the other hand, she holds a tablet with the inscribed date of July 4th, 1776, the date of American independence. Her crown features seven spikes, which symbolizes rays of the sun, the seven seas, the seven continents, 
and the enlightenment of liberty around the world. to spend at Liberty State Park and the visit to the Statue of Liberty. Thank you for joining me. It's back to the shop in New Jersey where I will attempt to reduce some more weight from my pack. I will lie down on my warm, cozy bed for a few more nights and dream of what the rest of this journey will bring. I'm just waiting on my motorcycle-specific jacket to come in. In less than a week, just as February sneaks in, the real start of this trip will take place. <laughs> 